Alright, alright guys, let's go, let's go into the next stream today, next stream, next FM20 stream with Manchester United. Ooh, we got, we got a big one up, we got a big one up as you can see, we got Liverpool, Liverpool, yeah, that's, it's semi-finals of the Champions League, we got good games surrounding before and in between and even after, easier games, which is good for us in the league, yeah, we're situated, uh, we, it looks like we're situated really well. For this, yeah. So let's get going for this one today. All right. Let's see what we got. We got four days, four days away until Everton. Only four days until the Everton game. So we just see the training set up. Uh, we're going to set a defensive shape for this one, actually. And don't forget, we just came off beating Liverpool as well. 3-2 and Manchester United. Hitting sweet form. Triple egg, hey, what's going on again? First in the chat. Nice to see you there. How are you going? Lavari, Dan Davin. What what's up? How you all going? Uh what's that? Tom Rogic started for Celtic. Oh that's good. Yeah, you got a game? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Bruno had a master class against yeah, wasn't he good? How good was he, yeah? Magnificent magnificent game by him. Uh Kidnab, hello, what's going on? Nice to see you in the stream. But we got we got Everton. We have got Everton coming up uh, for this next game. Lacazette. Whew. Arsenal's doing pretty well in this second season here, actually. Yeah, they're doing all right. See Everton, because mm. you see, yeah, those Liverpool games coming up. Yeah, got those Liverpool games coming. Not too far away at all. Uh, Chelsea beat Manchester City. I think that's a good result because Chelsea's below them. Yeah, it's good for us. Tottenham's pushing late to get into Europe. It didn't look very likely earlier in the season. Uh, Wayne Rooney gets a penalty. Guys, Wayne Rooney takes... Hold up. Derby to the final? How about that, guys? FA Cup final. We'll be playing... Is that Derby? I see what you did with that title. Live up or... You know, for the banter. For the banter. I mean, everyone says it in my chat. Everyone calls them Liverpool in my chat, so I'm like, <laughs> let's go. Might as well. Might as well. So yeah, we got Derby in the final. I reckon. I reckon we should win the FA Cup final, really. But yeah, we're gonna be facing Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney took him to the final off a penalty. So you know, 
There's always storylines, interesting storylines that play out in Football Manager. It's funny that way. It's funny that way, isn't it? And interesting. All of that. <laughs> so, Dylan Levitz. He's having a decent season out on loan, actually, for Preston. Four goals, four assists, average rating of 7.19 in the championship. So, I feel like that gives him... Uh, like, he could do all... He do he could do all right in the Premier League now. Maybe not for us, you know what I mean? Like, with a newly promoted team, I think he'll be a player, part of that squad. He's only 20, so he's going to improve a little bit more. That passing, technique, vision, so very creative. He'll be that creative midfielder. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, hey, major contender for an award. English Footballer of the Year award. So, not just in real life. Not just in real life, but in this season, you know, pretty solid. Uh, in the save, seen as a new signing as well. But yeah, Everton is up, and Everton's not even having a bad season. They're situated, they're sixth. They're sixth right now. Klein, so he's good for the reserves. He can be an experienced player for the younger guys. And as you know, we didn't sign him on for anything, just on a free. And then pretty cheap wages as well. So Brighton, Birmingham. Birmingham need a win to get out of that zone, the relegation zone. So Brighton did well to hold them off. But that, they would want to get the win, I suppose. Skulls excited by Inform United. Where's Paul Skulls? See, you might... Do we get him as a technical coach? Like, he's 18 for his technicals. What do you think about, yeah, Paul Scholes? Uh, attacking 15, technical 15, good determination. So, yeah, how do you how do you fancy him as a coach? We'll have to see. We do have a lot of coaches already, keep in mind. Oh, team meeting. All right. Just for the title. Well, what's this? This is a big match in pursuit, in pursuit of the title. And winning it would do a chance as the world of good. We'll say passionately. Yep. See, generally that second from the top is good when you're saying that. And then you just say, yeah, happy with the overall reaction. And there we go. That can only be good for the morale. But a lot of them look like they're the same. So what was the point of that? Did the, all those morale stay the same? Hey, P. Devaney, what's going on? Yo, nice to see you here. Nice to see you here. We got, we got big games coming up. We beat Liverpool in the last stream. Uh, Manchester City as well, I guess you can say. 5-0. Not to forget. Not to forget the Champions League quarterfinals. Abdullah. Hey, I, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. How about you? Nice to see you in the chat. Thank you for coming along. Mike. Mike is the one and only, one and only Chris Smalling. Mike. Back in the days where Louis Van Gaal called him Mike. Mike Smalling. Uh, you haven't been watching lately, but I've been watching on YouTube when you can. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I know the world and lives, people's lives are busy. Can't expect, yeah, can't expect people to be watching all my streams. I'm here for people that need someone <laughs> to watch uh, when they do have some free time. So, yeah, Liverpool, see, there you go. There you go. Huddersfield, well, they started well. They got a goal and then conceded. Then they got one back, Alexander-Arnold. Then they settled. But then Amaral scored for Huddersfield. Great. 
great work. Because Liverpool, yeah, they're lagging behind in the league now. We've got the same actual games played. And seven points differential, better goal difference. So we're holding Liverpool off again. We're holding them off again. Guys, we could just... We, we could do a clean sweep. We could do a clean sweep of all the competitions. And I wouldn't be surprised off of this season. I reckon we're on form. Like our form... Uh, we could show we could definitely do that. But Everton, Man United. There you go. Let's go to team selection. Are you a fan for Man United in real life? Yeah. Yeah, I support Man United. Dean Henderson might need a bit of game time. So, just try and get him some fitness. Not sure how to play him in this one exactly. Uh, Bruno Fernandes does still have a little injury in this one. That's why we got Jack Grealish as well. Uh, he's playing here. And guys, we have to play Everton against Everton. It's written in the story. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we have to play Everton against Everton. Uh, Neymar. Maybe rest Neymar. Give Rashford a chance. Oh, is it? Martial got an injury as well. What about his goal? What about his goal, lads? That was a really good one, wasn't it? Let's see. Lindelot. When's our next game? How far away? Is Brighton three days? Brighton, arguably, it's at home. It could be an easier game almost. So keep that in mind. Maybe Tenali take off and bring on McTominay. I want to try and box the box midfielder. Something different. You tried the FM 2020 demo before buying it. I actually didn't understand anything. I think if you're new to it, you're completely new to it, it's very overwhelming. And we'll bring in Luke Shaw as well for Sergio Reguilon. Yep. And let's just head on into the game, I reckon. What's that? Hate to say it, but Bruno dived to get the penalty. There was contact. I think all players in that situation, you know, kind of... Try to showcase it a bit. But, yeah, like, to go down, like... I reckon a lot of players, if they get touched, they could stay up, but they know they'll win a foul. Just say we'll qualify for Champions League here if we win, which we have bigger intentions. We want to win the title, but, you know, it's just bit by bit at this time of the season, isn't it? But let's start this well. Koulibaly to McTominay. Everton. That's how I say Everton against Everton. He's doing his thing again. See, guys, why is this... Why is this a penalty in FM? At least show it different. At least make the gameplay different. Make the player go down if they win a penalty. Just how... I, I don't know. It just looks strange to win a penalty like that. And Marcus Rashford, Pickford, he guessed the right way. But Rashford beat Pickford. Yeah. Come on. Come on. What a start to this game, guys. What a start. Get the hype early. Get the hype. I hope you be manager in Chelsea after Man United. Oh, Chelsea could be an interesting save to do. Yes, that's another one. That's another one. That is Paul Pogba in the back of the net. He enjoyed that. And Lupo have a mountain to climb now. They're a bit in a bit of trouble. In a bit of trouble. So Pogba with the head. There we go. And suddenly we take the lead. Well, uh, a convincing lead. Or well, it's like suddenly we're 2-0 ahead. Suddenly we've got a big lead. And let's just go on with the job. Grealish. He plays a dangerous ball. And that's Luke Shaw. Fourth goal of the season, Jack Grealish, another assist to his name as well. 
We're absolutely dominant. Dominant tactical setup for us. Dominant team performance as well. Everything is flowing. Everything is flowing really nicely. Kyle, how does he go through him? Oh, that could have... that Guys, that could have gone anywhere. That could have been anything. Just wow. Yeah, anything could have happened right there. Come on, get in for a tackle. Almost. Come on, guys. Come on. Very close. So there we are. Say to the dressing room, say assertively, uh, I'm, far I'm not far from please, I'm very happy. Yes, we have to praise him, 3-0. 3-0, we've got it. Come on, Kyle, come on, come on. Go get another big win. Keep putting pressure on him. Sadebe. Luke, sh I... He just had to make a tackle there. He was positioned so well. He was positioned really, really well. Yesterday I fell asleep while watching your stream. How about that? Before Man City second leg. Uh, no, that was a bit... That was a bit... I know what to, I was gonna say intense, but not intense. Just we dominated them. That was the thing. And just before I got into it, someone told me like, if you watch the replay, someone was saying like I didn't know how to play FM, which was really weird. <laughs> just because I was being a big team, insinuating that it's easy, be just because you're managing Man United with money. <laughs> but I think I like to think we're doing pretty well. I like to think we're doing pretty well. You woke up four l hours later with your phone in your hand. Yeah, I've had that before. I made you tired. Or you were staying up really late because you were enjoying it. Uh, yep, I, that didn't even need VAR. I could see that from here. Like, I could tell that was outside of the box. Luke Shaw's got a bit of an injury. We'll, we'll see what we'll do with him, but here's Greenwood. Almost, almost, Greenwood. Let's bring on Delo. That's what he's on the bench for. Coverage for the fullback positions. Doesn't have a better role than that by the looks of things. Let's just put him as a fullback support. Is there online in this game? Uh, you can you can do a draft like against a friend or something like that, or you can set up you can set up online. But yeah, you can set up an online save with like your friends or something like that. But I, I haven't done that in years. It's it is more an offline game though, Football Manager. To be fair, like they put the options for that. But yeah. Anyway, let's bring on Sandro Tonali now. Deep line playmaker. We got we've got the win. Uh, we'll save another sub up our sleeves. Oh, yeah, we didn't do team instructions, not team instructions, opposition instructions for this game. Ask us assistant, ask assistant now. But yeah, Jack Grealish, really, really good game with his two assists, helping us along. And we might as well make our final sub now, and players have got a little bit more tight. One Bissaka, we don't really have a sub for him, he's just going to have to play this one out. Everton... Rashford, yeah, probably the most important player out of these. Let's bring on Neymar. Just get a bit of game time for Neymar. 
Did you ever play Championship Manager 0102? No, I never played it that far back. No, it wasn't that early for me. <laughs> now Everton. He's looking dangerous against Everton and he blazes away. Pretty poor. Maybe like how Everton have also been today. They've had a little bit of possession, actually. And you would say technically more shots. 15 shots. Well, yeah, 16 shots to 15 now. So they we end the game on the same, though. They didn't create good opportunities, though. So passionately, very happy with the result and the way we played. It's just, that's just another straightforward performance. Uh, Molly, good evening, everyone. Hey, how you doing? How you going? Welcome to the stream. So that was another really straightforward one. Luke Shaw gets injury. It's just a tight thigh, though, one to two days. You have 3.5k points. Don't know what to do with them. Well, you can use you can use them on emotes, right? But I mean, that's what I mean. There's only so much you could do to use them. And guys, I told you. See, I knew. Someone said it was the end of the season, but I knew that was wrong. Someone said when you finish all competitions. But I knew it. the, the budgets come earlier. I knew the budgets come earlier. That's why I asked. Did anyone know a specific date? Tw okay, towards the end of April. I'll try and remember that for following seasons. But yeah, I knew it would come. Now let's see what it is. Oh, it's guys. It's almost 200 mil. It's almost 200 milli again. Look, 198 million transfer budget. 650k on the available wage. How about that? We've got big money. That's why I say Mbappe could be the target next season. Don't forget, if we win Champions League, I reckon we'll sell Neymar. He, who would have done, he would have done his part. So now... See, guys, last year, Mbappe wasn't interested. So we'll declare that interest, or even say he's a top target, that we really want to yeah, really bring him in. Chelsea with a bit of minor interest, but he won't want to come to join Chelsea. Yeah, Grealish, a really good game. Unfort I love Ronaldo, but Ronaldo, of course, getting older, but at the same time, in the game, he, do he doesn't want to join. Extremely doubtful. I don't know why he doesn't want to come to United, basically. He'll be crazy on the wage, especially. So, yeah. I don't really... I'm, I think you have to pass on Ronaldo for a couple reasons. Or you might need to pass on him if he doesn't want to join, so... Week, it looks like a... What does it look like? Finances and salary? What? Oh, the... <laughs> it looks like the pink shoe. Okay, let's go through the... I don't know why it's pink. If, like... I, can you change the colors? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. But, yeah, see, through a month, you can see the income expenditure. It's pretty close. A little bit more on the expenditure. We're, we're paying a lot on player wages and bonuses. So if we take a look there, maybe you think about that a bit. Match day expenses. But I mean, it's a... What are we doing? You have 12.9K channel points. Like when you're on my stream, what does it show you can do? Does it, like it says you can highlight your message or something? Because I've seen people do that. I'm not sure what you can do with them. It would be cool if there was like some sort of like you can put like a ranking on the stream. Like who has the most. But I'm not sure if that's possible. That's an actual thing you could do. <laughs> but yeah, you reckon Mbappe could be the target, lads? For next season, that big money. And as I said, well, if we sell Neymar as well. I... Uh, I, I know that we won't sell Neymar for more than we got him for. That will be asking a bit too much. You can make things to do with channel points. But yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it all operates. Because I can't actually view that myself. I can't see who has the most channel points. Unless you guys just tell me. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we do have Brighton up. So make sure the training. I reckon our focus. Once more. More attacking movement. And then take off match preview. Go technical. Just go chance conversion. We don't want a game where it comes up. We can't take a chance. Happens occasionally. <laughs> so the low. The morale is superb. You can put emotes in emotes. And we can use the point. I mean, I've got emotes. I've, I've got emotes in my stream. I've got three. So, yeah. I, I've got them. <laughs> There's three. I can't... So far, I need more subscribers to make more emotes. I actually have more, but I can't upload them. I need more subscribers. Totally. That, that makes it a reason. You can edit them. Like, there's played you song... Well, we can't, I can't do songs on this stream because I upload to YouTube and the videos will get taken down, definitely. Especially if they were requested songs. They'll probably be... Yeah, so I'm not I'm not someone... You probably see other people stream who don't do YouTube and they play music. That's because they just don't re-upload yeah, to YouTube. So they, their video, they don't worry about that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm not play, I can't play music on my streams. If I plan to upload them to YouTube. But I notice even the stream replays as well can get muted on Twitch. So even though I'm like, I'm not sure even I'd want to do that for that reason. If someone, if people like to watch on the replay. Yeah. So you can use the emotes. There you go. <laughs> but as I said, I can make more. I've got a few more uh, in that similar style with that football. And <laughs> like with the crazy reactions, I just, yeah, n basically need more subscribers. That's how Twitch works, uh, to open more slots. Uh, what's that? I was watching you on YouTube when you had 1K. That's, yeah, that, that would have been in 2012, like my first year. For that long? Man, that's crazy. FM Hammer, yeah, Bruno. Isn't Bruno... A superstar. Highest average rating for the season in this save as well. So, yeah, gets it done in real life, gets it done in FM. If there's anywhere a football pitch, he knows what to do. What were the board... Uh, it definitely, the board expectations definitely was not the, this success, but let's take a look. Let's take... Look, look at all this, though. End of... The, I love the details to the vision and the club culture, the five-year plan... Yeah, it makes it really cool. So, Champions League. Reached the quarterfinal. Done that. UEFA Super Cup, not judging, so that doesn't matter. Premier League qualify for Champions League. So, top four. And we look like very good chance to win it. FA Cup reached the final, which we've done. We've actually got the final against Derby. So, which Wayne Rooney with a penalty took him to the final. EFL Cup, doesn't matter. Even though we won it. It was, they're not, we could have lost in the first round, but we were, don't you think you should get some recognition, even though they say it as not important, you should get a little bit of recognition for winning it. So yeah, those are the expectations. So it's top four. It's top four for Premier League anyway, in terms of that expectation. Three in, three out for Man United this summer. Who are you picking? Oof. Uh, triple egg. I've been watching you since 100k subs. Yeah, I don't really care if, like, if you've been watching me since very early or since 100k. I mean, I hit 100k, I think that was 2016. 2016? Yeah, yeah, that would have been it. 2016 was a big year for multiple reasons. But three in, three out for Man United. Whew. Guys, who, who do you guys reckon? Who do you guys reckon that Man United should get in? Well, uh, the get outs are easy. Definitely, ooh. What, to sell uh, in football manager, I know it's hard. Sell Alexis Sanchez, uh, uh, Phil jo oh, Okay, uh, Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard has to go out for sure. Who else? Because there's a few running out of their contracts anyway, isn't there? So they could just be let go. What's that? You shouldn't say you don't care. You should appreciate everyone no matter when they started watching you. Isn't that what I meant? Isn't that what I just said? Like, I don't care when someone started watching me. 
I appreciate everyone who's... Isn't that what I... <laughs> that's what I actually meant. Sorry if it didn't come off that way. What's that? You shouldn't say you don't care. You should appreciate everyone no matter when they started watching you. But isn't that what I said? Uh, I'm, try I'm, try I'm trying to remember how I said it. I said, like, I don't care when you started watching me. Whenever you started watching me, I'm happy with that. Yeah? <laughs> I, I think that's basically that, <laughs> what you said. Just worded in a different way. But anyway, Arsenal beat Chelsea. We got Brighton. Yeah, that's definitely what... That, that, that's what I'm saying. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Uh, what? Winger, CDM, and a striker, but you don't know who for the players yeah, to come in. Because you don't... That's the thing. I don't know who to suggest because some players you might see be seen as unrealistic and not happen. Sancho would be a dream. Yeah, see, I'd love Sancho to come. Yeah, come to United. Surely the finances are there. United can make a deal. It's just if they will or not. Or if he'll want to come to United. But guys, we got Brighton now. we got to keep in mind the Liverpool game. That's what this stream will be about, the Liverpool. Yep, the, the two legs we've got against them. So... We got to keep players fit in this one, I reckon. Do you guys agree with that? And maybe Dean Henderson, this is where he's going to get his match fitness. <laughs> get his sharpness up. Luke Shaw, drop. I'll bring in Sergio. They're, they're a bit of a mix. We rotate them a bit. Uh, Navindal. Navindal, thanks for following. Thank you for joining my stream. So, who else? Yeah, Chelsea always beat Arsenal, your Chelsea supporter. Uh, Pereira, I reckon Pereira will sell come the end of the season, because he's just on the outer, I mean, is he a good back player, a ba backup player, I missed uh, a couple letters there, is he a good backup player maybe, Mike, do we give Mike a go at the back, or Harry Maguire comes in for Lindelof, yeah, bring in big Harry, Dalo, make sure, no, we'll play him complete wing back, I think he's been doing alright in that, I mean, we've been playing him in that, so, look at all, guys, the perfect morale, let's bring on Tanali. just keep the, the fresh legs, what, little Champions League for next season, would make transfer window a bit easier, yeah, that's Nathaniel Klein, <laughs> Nathaniel Klein sitting in the team, oh boy, Nathaniel Klein, we signed him on a free, we signed him on the free. Liverpool let him go. He played it. Look, couple games for the season. Seven seven point four rating. So he's playing that backup role only on sixteen and a half k per week. I think that just cheap wages. That's when we saw. I'm like, wow. When the when there was in that situation to sh sign him, I didn't think I could sign him for that cheap. An experienced Premier League player and almost twenty million value. We could sell him at the end of the season and make make a little bit of money off him. Well, make a good 20 million, that would be a bargain to get that off of him. And yeah, without paying much on him this season, I reckon we're going to drop out someone. Who is it going to be? That is the question. I think, yeah, no, we got Lindelof. Center back and full back on the bed. There's, guys, how do you roll with your subs? Do you have like a center back and at least one full back on the bench? You make sure you have a center back and a full back? Let me know. Then you got four midfielders and attackers. You mix with those. So Bruno Fernandes, I want him on the bench. Yeah, probably drop out Chong then. So anyway, let's get into this one now, guys. Yep, how's this team looking? Maybe drop Everton, start Tovan. Yep, there we go. Tovan. Inside forward. Let's go, guys. Oh, let's get into the match. Let's get into the match right now. All right. Let's get it. Let's get a big win here, but we want to progress through it because we've got we've got another game in mind next. We've got a game in mind next up, don't we? Shit. 
So Delo. Reguillon. Here he goes. Oh, he's going to win a penalty there. That's going to be a penalty. Yep. Yeah, I could see that was inside of the box. And Marcus Rashford. He's here to step up. Rashford. Ah, oh, misses a penalty. I would say we were due to miss a penalty, guys. Don't you guys think? Because we've scored a lot in a row. We were due to miss one. As disappointing as it is, it eventually comes up. Maybe a game to take it in is against Brighton. If we take a penalty miss against Brighton, we're playing at home against them, we should beat them anyway. So, yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Because a penalty miss, was it has to come. Just by the law of averages. Can't score them all. And Henderson. Ooh, good kick. Now let's push on. And get that goal anyway. Greenwood to Grealish. Oh, look at this. Yes. Torvan. Tovar set it up. Diago Delo. What a goal. Told ya. Told ya. There we go. What's that? I'm a bit shocked you're doing so well with that side. Think your tactics are improving. Uh, you think it's a fourth place 11? Well, see, we I think we have a good squad. I think a squad as a whole is healthy for the rotations when we need to. Oh, Delo, great finish. But the tactics are pretty strong, I would say. Because if we look at our... T okay, guys, this is this 11 is not our best 11. So maybe we can... Like, you bring one Bissaka in for Delo, saying that Delo just scored a goal. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with the squad myself. But I don't think we're the... Oh, it's hard to say if we don't have the best squad in the league. Hmm. Here's Bernardo. Torvan. He's going to get to that. Greenwood... Greenwood is going to fire. Ah, still one-on-ones. Still one-on-ones are a bit iffy, guys. Still a lot be miss. Uh, be careful. Be careful, Kulabali. Be careful in the challenges. But we got a 1-0 lead. We missed a penalty as well. As I said, happy to take it. I think happy to take it against Brighton. It could have come in a more crucial game. Now, Tenali. Oh, he got a hop there. A bit of a hop, and it leads to a goal. See, Mason Greenwood's got 31 goals in the league. Well, no, no, sorry. 31 goals this season. But smashed a lot in, in the league again. Here he is, another goal. 31. He could push the 40 for the season. Tanali, great signing in him as well. Very creative. Jones, nah, Jones is not doing anything. Nah, Phil Jones is not going to score against us. Uh, Tabula... Uh, that whole name. <laughs> Just thank you for the following. Thank you for the following. Appreciate it. Thank you for following, mate. Ah, uh, here we go. Great, great performance. Do we take Rashford off? He's got a six. He's got a six rating because he missed a penalty, really. And let's give Bruno Fernandes a good, what, 30 minutes or so. Pretty handy there. Then Tenali come off. we we'll bring on McTominay again. We're sort of really well here. Ball winning mid on defend this time. Anyone else? Oh, I guess Pogba. Pogba's crucial, but we don't really have another centre mid to bring on. Uh, so Paul Pogba, he he's very like his natural fitness and stamina is high, so he can normally yeah get up for the next game uh, pretty well. Kulabali for Lindelof. I'm just wondering who's the important player. Let's just bring on Lindelof. There we go. Think about for the next game. Because we want to we wanna start Neymar in the next one. Because I said I want to be the impact for the Champions League. For the reason of signing him. For him to, to, for him to make an impact. And he's been alright in some games. <laughs> I'm like, in some games. Oh, here's March. Oh, nah. Dealt with it too easy. That work was done. Delo. 
to Bruno Fernandes now. Bruno Fernandes. Keep going, lad. Keep going. Oh, he's cool, but it's going to fall to Pogba. <sighs> Super close. Super close, guys. Can we continue? Oh, is that almost out? Very, very almost. Here's March. Oh, almost a long shot. Uh, it's, but it's just a, it's a matter of playing out time, guys, now. We're just playing out the time, but could we maybe finish? Can we get a third goal for today? Sergio Reguilón. Here he is again. He's been a great signing on a free transfer, don't forget. Approached to sign him in the first season. He's come along really well. Now, oh, look at this play, though, guys. Look at the play. If this leads to a goal, it will be beautiful. Oh, and it is. It's Mason Greenwood. It's Mason Greenwood. Get the hype, guys, in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. How about that? Great ball. Great setup. And then Delo with an assist. Greenwood, 32nd goal of the season. Yes. <laughs> Yes, 3-0. Like I told you, that R that Rashford missed penalty means absolutely nothing. It's it's a perfect game to take a missed penalty. And now let's go on a run of scoring some again. Is there anyone good? Yeah, I remember checking, but there wasn't anyone of note. Oh, Liverpool just sneak. They just sneak a result there. Jones suffered defeat. But how good, how good is Mason Greenwood? Mason Greenwood scores again. <laughs> uh, we can we can check, you know. We can check to see who's available. But I yeah, from my memory there wasn't there wasn't too many. Who was I'm searching for? We'll just clear because it says yeah, there's one there in the search, but anyway, contract status. That will be we'll, we'll say expiring in six months. Not sure if they'll show up with three months. Anyway, let's let's see the best quality that's available to us. See, there is an amazing, there is an amazing players available. A lot of them, the highest valued are older guys. It's like racket, but is Rakitic still decent? Like he's still okay, but physically, yeah, no, nah, I don't like those physicals. Adebayor, guys, Emmanuel Adebayor is still in FM. I didn't even know that. Did you guys know? Adebayor. Adebayor should still exist. Or I didn't know he still exists. Legend. <laughs> In the Premier League. I liked him. So that was that. What's that? Greenwood just has 10 adding... A yeah, uh, 10 for his heading. I don't know. He might I think it's his jumping. I think it's his jumping. Uh, where are we? Where is Greenwood? His heading's only 10. He's jumping 13. I don't know. He does seem really good in the air for whatever reason. So, do you reckon we should work on it or just leave his training as it is? Because he's scoring goals. We shouldn't mess with it. So, guys, any, any, like, there's a lot of just older players here, you know? Where's Ram? Oh, Ramos is there, yeah? He's injured at 35. What do you think, Sergio Ramos? He's he's going to be on huge wages. That's the only thing. Add him to the shortlist in case he doesn't appear. He's still really well rated for a centre-back. That would be big. If anything, how much... He doesn't want to join us. He wants to he wants to keep his options open so he could potentially join us. A lot of you guys Rakitic fans? See Rakitic in the chat. He's you know likable player Ivar Rakitic. But I think physically, yeah, I don't know he might not be up to it in the prem. Is there anyone else that's good though, guys? 
that. How about this? Nah, n- none of them are really that. Oh, don't forget Gibbons. Don't forget our youth player. But yeah, imagine if he was there to mentor him though. That kind of yeah. No one here is really good enough. You got Luca Modric. The, the good guys are too old. Maybe that's why they're coming towards the end of their contracts as well. Ramos would get. It's yeah. There's there's a lot of those. Oh, Alex Moat. He follows me on Twitter. He followed me when I did a Leeds United career mode on FIFA. Does anyone remember when I did a Leeds United career mode on FIFA? I think it was like FIFA 16 or something like that. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> shout out to him. But, yeah, I don't... Or Vedran Koluka. I remember when he was in the Premier League for Spurs. So, I don't think there's anyone that's good enough. Does that sound bad? <laughs> Is there any young talent, though? I want to say, like, the highest value for a younger player that's not... Like, at least that has some potential in him. Probably not, though. All of these guys are, like, just older players. Or, I mean, you know, not youngsters. How, who's this Abue at Celtic? So, yeah, he's not... They're not gonna... There's no real... Um, like, where's the good younger players? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. Lucas Vazquez? He's 29... Nah, he's nowhere near. Nowhere near. Like, these players... Nothing special at all. I was hoping there might be some. Oh, how about this? Thomas Sandoval? But nah. I'm, I'm trying to hope for a guy that's maybe under 23. But it just doesn't look to be. It just doesn't look to be. Unfortunately. Is it... It's either someone exper- experienced or no one at all. Javi Martinez? Why has he dropped... Why does he look terrible? Not terrible. Okay. What? He... No wonder he's loaned him out. Well, they've- he doesn't... Wow. Has he dropped in his quality or something, man? Like, technically and mentally, he looks horrendous. Maybe it's only the experienced guys... Maybe it's only Ramos. Maybe Ramos has a backup. Bring Di Maria back to United. <laughs> uh. Oh, guys, i got to tell you an interesting story. When I was about... Well, when I played, like, on FM08, when Kieran Gibbs was a young player, I signed him. Do you know... It's it. Some Do you ever sign a player for a reason? Maybe there could be better options, but because... I'm from Australia, and there is a like Australian sport um, AFL Aussie Rules Football. There was a player for the team that I support. His last name was Gibbs, yeah, Bryce Gibbs. Uh, so I signed him just because of his last name. I didn't know who he was at that point because that point he was a young player. He was just at Ars- he was in Arsenal's like he was slowly coming into Arsenal's team. But I signed him for United just because of his last name, and I played him. I think there was better options. But yeah, give him a scout here. But have you ever signed any like a player in Football Manager for a reason like that? Or similar to that anyway? Hey, footy, how you doing? No, just wondering what tactic you use. Well, I'm using my tactic. <laughs> I like to refer it as. But formation-wise, we're playing a 4-2-3-1. But this, mental, or, uh, this tactical style I've used... Uh, before in FM20 and even a bit in FM19 as well, the style of it. Uh, it's more down to the tactical style. We could play, I've used it with a three at the back formation. But yeah, it's down to the me- uh, well, mentality on attacking right now. We can change that. But uh, this is this is the a big part where it starts. Uh, we've got the high defensive line, high line of engagement, engagement, engagement uh, and use the offside trap. And then the pressing, the pressing intensity is big, uh, extremely urgent, and then partner that with the counter press as well, and counter when the possession has been won, that's a big part. And then the in possession can be switched up as well, like if you want to play more direct or shorter passing, play out of defense or not, that I haven't noticed as extreme, but yeah. What's that? You signed Milinkovic, Savic, and Luka Jovic in Real Madrid and played them a lot when they weren't big talents, they are now. Yeah, that's cool. Gibbons' development. Let's see how he's doing. It's very early. It's very early, guys. But it's easy to be excited by Paul Gibbons. He doesn't even have any progress yet. 
Pete Watts has. Pete Watts. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That I had that phrase before Pete was a player. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. He'll be a good player. But Paul Gibbons, yeah, no. He hasn't been... Yeah, we haven't had him long enough <laughs> from the intake. Uh, how, how's Emiran going? He's a bit up and down at the moment. Uh, my tactics haven't really changed since the update. Uh, as I said, I used a similar sem setup. I used a similar setup in FM19, so I'm, I wasn't really... Like, these tactics not I was using because they were good for the match engine or anything just for this year. Just, yeah, pretty good style in the last year. <laughs> last year as well, that's what I mean, FM19. Uh, Sandro Tonali. But also in FM19, I like to utilize three strikers and get a lot of crosses in. That was a bit of a different setup as well. To be fair. Uh, Sandro, yeah, wage hike. That was always going to happen. I think that was part of when we offered his contract to make it happen. But that's all good. Uh, if you're just joining the stream as well, we get our initial budgets for the next season. Once more, it's around that 200 million. Uh, we got to see. We had it a lot focused last year, players running out contracts. But who's running out their contract this year? Because last, last year was the real... We've got no one. <laughs> Guys, everyone's on a contract. Paul Pogba, though, he'll be running out of his contract next season. Surely, hopefully you can offer him an... You can't say... Oh, lad, man. Really? Shit. Imagine if he leaves on a free... That will be an, an F up. Wow. We have to be able... We can't go through the whole next season and not be able to... We should be able to offer him a contract. For a guy, he's happy enough at the team. Look! He's got perfect morale. Guys, how can a player on perfect morale not want to negotiate a contract? That's AIDS, man. That's AIDS. Are you serious? And the rest that are running out next season, don't worry, what, don't worry about that much. Ah. What's the wage that Neymar's on? He'll be on the most, of course. He's on, yeah, that 575k. So that will be something that gets freed up when we sell Neymar. But yeah, I want him to have... I don't want to focus on selling him too much right now. I want to focus... Okay, we've got to... If we talk about focus, I want to focus, change some training. I'm disappointed... Po uh, we can't lose Pogba on a free. we got to make him happy. Surely winning the... chat. Can we set our youth intake focus... What, what, hopefully we can get a five-star potential winger. I mean, there's not much we can really do about it. You just hope. A high, we've got a high potential center back now. We've got a, uh, we've got a couple of strikers. A winger would be lovely, but how can we... I'm not sure if that's a thing you can do. <laughs> you can focus towards who you want to get. So let's go on the attacking movement, actually. Uh, once more techni technical. Let's go on chance creation. We did chance conversion previously, so we'll do a bit of mix there. I'd love a good winger. Any tips on how I can get my wonder kid to stay at the club as he wants to leave? Hey, I've got this problem with Pogba that he doesn't want to. He doesn't want a new contract. Do we try and offer him out? Maybe as soon as we can, come the end of the season. Uh, I fan Teray. I fan Teray. Thanks for following. Sorry if I didn't get your name 100% exact, but yeah, cheers. Uh, appreciate appreciate you joining my stream today. Thank you very much. And here we go. I'm hoping, yeah, we just hope Pogba changes his mind after we win the Champions League. If we do. There's a lot more. We've got Liverpool to take down. Don't forget Yanazai. Guys, do we do we sell Yanazai even though he hasn't played a game for us? <laughs> we signed him on the buyback clause, then loaned him back. And do we just flip him? Do we flip him, make the profit? He's 35 million value. A bit of a flip deal there. That will be all right. <laughs> it's not like we need the money, but, you know, it's nice to see profits. Oh, no, guys, Sergio is injured. Uh, Manager Di Bacanda, thanks for following. But, guys, oh, Sergio, disappointing. We're not going to inject him. Nah. We're not about that. Oh, that's that hurts. 
Guys, that truly hurts. He's been so good this season. We're going to bring on Luke Shaw, who really, guys, I say so much about Sergio, but Luke Shaw has still got a higher average rating than him for the season. So not to get too up in arms about it. Maybe just support for... Hug from Portugal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Delo. I suppose we'll set up here. One Bissaka. Tillo is actually wanted... Is it, Guys, is it going to be a time to take his profit? Is it the time to take his profit? Uh, we signed for 4.5 million. A team is interested. He's at 20.5 right now. I'm just hoping... Guys, I feel it's so rare. Teams that are interested in your player, they make an offer. Do you find that very rare in FM now? Like, you have to... If you want to sell a player, like, you have to offer them out. Like, and even if there's interest, if there's interest, teams very rarely make offers when you want. <laughs> when you want to sell... They, they very rarely... Like, they show interest. I'm like, why aren't you making an offer? Uh, but Sheffield United really need a win. Sheffield United need a win here. Can they get it, though? Will they get it? Oh, they do. They do. Mousset, yeah, he got that winning goal in the 70th minute. They really needed that, and they need more of what they... They need a... They need a great finish to the season. They truly do. Probably, yeah, well, two wins. Well, could they get it? It will be hard for them to stay up. They'll need... They'll need good results and a bit of luck. No, they'll need wins, really. Oh. Gibbs recalls Northwest Derby Spirit. We're going to need it today. Have they got any injuries? They still got Dembele. Don't forget, Dembele is a very good striker. Musa Dembele, the striker. So it's good that he's out, really. Uh, Lovren, Grimaldo. But we're missing Sergio and Martial. So both teams missing players. Fair enough. Both teams have... That's what you get this time of the season as well. You'll be lucky to have a, a free billing of health. And also, Tenali is completed. The language course, so he can speak English. That, yeah, that only makes him better. And more valuable playing in England, of course. Guys, Juve and Barca. Who would you think we would rather face? Yeah, who would you, who would you think we'll face? Uh, but what's that? What do you think of the win today? Yeah, United. We played very well. It was a very good performance. Bruno Fernandez was excellent. Uh, let's see though. Oh, it's a nil-nil draw. Who would you say that's in favour of? Also, considering Dembele picks up an injury four to six weeks, so he'll be missing that next one. So who do you say that's in favour of? Is that a good result for Juventus? Dembele's injured. Who do you think will advance now? Definitely Juve will be an easier option, but they show they can defend Barcelona. Or you could say they can't score at home at the same time. <laughs> what do you take from that? But now, guys, Mason Greenwood uh, overtook Bruno Fernandes as the highest average rating. And he's got most goals for the season as well. At only 19, guys. He's worth 67 million. Oh, we've got a player. We've got some player. In your opinion, what's that? Uh, Fernandez is the best signing of the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era. I can I can agree. Who who would you say? That he, but the thing is, he has, to, he has still a lot more to prove. But you can you can see him doing it. You can already see his quality. He's really he's fit into the team. He's fit into United really well. But guys, we've got Liverpool our first leg. This is what we've been waiting for in this stream, and it's here right now. It's here right now, guys. What do you think of the first leg? How is it going to go? We bring Bruno Fernandez in. Oh, sorry, yeah. So he's ready. So he's ready here. Neymar in. We drop Rashford. Oh, Martial. 
we'll try and get him fitness and maybe he could play the second the second one. If we put him on yeah oh, well we can't even select him for that. So Chong though we will. So there we go. Let's go guys. It's a big game. So yeah, Koulibaly Maguire. One Basak will be fullback support. So yeah, have both fullbacks fullback support. It's a bit, you know, settled. Now thinking about anything else. Tanali. We're gonna leave Tanali in. You off average rating being better than McTominay. But to play the defend duty. Defend duty. See, he's got that good connection with Pogba now. Fernandez and Greenwood, or them having a good connection, that's going to be so good for us, for creating. And then one Bissaka with Tovan down that side. I really like this mixture, guys. Is this the setup for the game? Just De Gea to come in in goals as well. And I think we, we've really got it covered. Lindelof or Maguire? I reckon Maguire, just another English player in the team. So, yes. We'll go in like this, guys. Leave your predictions in the chat. Get your predictions in. Get your predictions in. How's this first leg going to go? Take a look at their team. It's Firmino, Mane, Salah. I believe Salah didn't play the last time we played Liverpool. And he's got 14 goals and 18 assists. Salah continuing to kill it. What's Mane got? Ma oh, guys, they're, they're really doing well. Firmino hasn't done a lot this season, though. Very good, very strong team Liverpool are playing. Very, very strong. Yeah, we'll ask the assistant for the opposition instructions. Let's just check what was applied when we click that, just so you get a little bit of an idea. Though there's no pressing and tight marking, but we've got high pressing in our tactics, so keep that in mind. So... Assertively, pick up where we left off last time out. Yeah, pretty motivating. Actually, once more, we'll still try and select all, because there's a few that didn't react. And we'll say passionately, I have faith in you. Boost that up. <laughs> Again, Koulibaly was the only one that didn't get a thumbs up reaction. But listening keenly is all right. It's not bad. Come on. I'd love to get goals without conceding one. No away goal would be nice. But let's see what we do here, guys. It's big. It's Luke Shaw in. Greenwood. Greenwood. Oh, couldn't do the magic here today. How about that, guys? This is going to be real tight. Incredibly close. Early days. Oh, Greenwood had a good chance there. Did you win the Community Shield? Is it bad that I can't even remember what happened there? <laughs> that one feels so long ago. I, I, can, I literally cannot um, remember. Luke Shaw! It's Luke Shaw with the goal! Maybe a blessing. See, I feel him and Sergio play at such a similar level. Sergio Reguilón. Two, two great left-backs we have. I, I think it's a good problem. It's a good problem to have with both of them. Like, we don't need to prefer one of the other. Whoever's available, looking the best fit, uh, in the best form, we select. And it's, it's really good to have that. How do you get the scoreline at the top like that? Uh, I don't, is it just the, ski, the skin I'm using? Oh, no, it's... We almost have two injuries at the moment. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Tavan. Oh, I swear, this is the way to take us out. Injure our players. Injure our players, why don't you? Come on, man. Yeah, I will check that. Yeah, if we go right to the start of the season. I have a f I, yeah, I can't remember what... Yeah, we beat Liverpool there as well. We didn't win the Super Cup, though, but... That's Super Cup. <laughs> Do we count? Is that really that important? 
at Benfica. Remember when that happened? It felt really weird. Uh, just the loop. 4-1, wow. But yeah, we won the Community Shield as well. So we covered all that, and we've got a 1-0 lead here today. The only downside is the injuries. Neymar says he should be able to play through it, though. What do you guys reckon? Do we sub him? Oh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, I wouldn't want to concede just before half time. Injury time, that will hurt. One Bissaka, good tackle, but it goes back. You know what happens when tackles will go back to them. Oh, this is coming for Liverpool. I can feel it. I've seen it all before. I've, I've seen it all before. I can't stop it from this point. I, whew, close. That was really close. Uh, that was another Luis Suarez. That was, it was just the same name. Yeah, just the same name. So assertively, don't get complacent out there, guys. Neymar, he, we'll leave him a little bit, but I'm not sure if he's going to do much. We've probably got Rashford to come on. No, not his fault. He picks up a bit of a, a bit of a knock. Close Salah down. I mean, why wasn't that in the opposite instructions early when we did them? Oh, but here's for me. That looks like they're getting in a lot of space, guys. Hold that. If we don't concede from this, I might make a change. Ah, I hate those fly tackles in that position. Oh, De Gea, very close. Yeah, we're going to go balanced from here. We're going to go balanced here. And go a bit more direct instead. Yeah, play that style. And use the wings. Go wide. There we go. Okay. Oh, can't I change the normal tactics here? I don't get why that happens. Sergio Ramos knows what to do with Salah. Uh, we got. I reckon it's Neymar. Yeah, off time. Rashford to come on down that side. So let's see. Let's see what we do. Ooh, t let's bring on McTominay. For Tenali's been really good, keep in mind. But I feel McTominay's that stronger body and a ball-winning mid as well. Be strong in the tackle. I like to think those are the right changes. I'm hoping those are the right changes. For us. Oh, no. No. Tackle it. Tackle him. Ooh, right. Then shout. We'll say praise because we're winning. We're 1-0. Praise the lads. I'd love to get a second just to give us breathing space on the scoreline before we go to Anfield. A two-goal lead will be nice. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, missing a tackle. You can't miss tackles in this stage. Mmm, guys, it's v it's incredibly tight this game, incredibly tight. Now let's also give a shout saying tighten up at the same time. How can you be frustrated by saying tighten up, which is like a def it's almost like a defensive change to say that. Just say make sure we don't just be tighter. Really, it's not something to make you happy. Oh, oh that was close, guys. Are we lucky? Are we lucky we haven't conceded in this leg? It's very... I feel like in this game, we can't create more. Well, you could say we did go a little bit more defensive, or we went balanced. Do we take 1-0? And are we lucky we didn't concede a goal? Are we lucky that we are going in 1-0? To the next leg. Luke Shaw. Do, do we be happy with this? We're happy with this. 1-0. Didn't, didn't concede an away goal. I think that gives us an advantage because I think we can score against them, even at Anfield. Tovar's injured three to six, well, three to four weeks in the physio. And Neymar injured three to seven days. Yeah, leave him to the physio and he'll be fine. He should be able to take part in this next one. Yeah. Whew. Drama, though. Yeah, Burnley up next. So... Just, yeah, we've got recovery. And then against Burnley, let's match preview this. Just go attacking. Actually, work on teamwork. Haven't done that for a while. And then Burnley, just work on our set pieces. Defending on free kicks. Sometimes I'll go to defending from corners for that. It was a tough match. We got 1-0 from it. Uh, to avoid conceding was good. But I wouldn't say we played in a way to 
to avoid conceding, you know? I feel like Liverpool deserved the goal. But anyway. We've got Burnley up next. We'll rotate a bit. We rotate a bit here. As we'll continue, we'll just apply that. Mbappe will be a great target for next season. <laughs> uh, Rob Locksters, thanks for following. So, Man United, Cork, Jane, Danger, Jack Cork. I think if, guys, if Jack Cork is the worry for us, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be all right. Yeah, Mbappe could be the right winger, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see in that time when it comes around. Who knows who else is going to come and leave. Let's say this. Yeah, that second option, and then the top one for... But uh, morale isn't changing. Our morale is staying the same. Why is Ser uh, Sergio's unhappy? Probably because of his injury. But what was the point of saying that? Even players with bad morale is not improving off of it. So what do we do? Delo continues to train at a very high level. See, there's his morale going up. But yeah, Burnley up next. Go well, Burnley next, guys. This should be yeah opportunity to rotate a bit, of course. Let's see anything else. Mentoring. How come we're not getting mentoring updates for the first team? I like were, were we even like mentoring? We. I'm not even selecting anything for the mentoring in the under 23s. And Reese Devine, he's he he's got a new trait. Gets forward with the well, he's got three star potential. Not bad. He could develop into an okay player to sell at some point. Gibbons to the bench. I'm not sure at this point. Uh, but Mason Greenwood, player of the month with Diego Delo there as well. Diego Delo, how about that? He's really good. Then young player of the month to Mason Greenwood. Six goals in four appearance, killing it, and I got the manager of the month. Woodward, Woodward, mate. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Dylan Levitt came second in there. Young player of the month in the in the championship. So, you know, he's coming along. The low looks all right. Uh, Tom Heath, uh, goalkeeping coach. Yeah, he, he, he's actually a really good under-18s keeper coach. So, guys... Do you know why he's good now? Because if we go to the development center, we've got our young young keeper, Sam Ahmed. Sam Ahmed, he could definitely... Look at it. Guys, look at his potential now. Guys, he, I reckon he could have been five five star. In the youth intake, wasn't, it, wasn't he like three and a half potential? It wasn't because then when we signed him, it was four star. And now it's four and a half, guys. So, oh, yeah. So I could tell off his... Like current attributes, he's he's gonna be a good player. Yeah, Sam Ar Sam Ahmed, and we got a good yeah youth keeper coach. So it's a perfect setup to have. Yeah, two point five, yeah, two and a half. So that's that's a major increase. That's a major increase. Happy with that, right? There's a, there's our goalkeeper for the future. There's our future keeper, which we hope for. And also, we do we check out our other one? Who? What's it? What was his name again? He's ah, oh, he's not listed. Yeah, well, see, he could be a higher potential than the other guy we signed up. See, he's gone higher than Sean Quirk. 
he's wanted by Newcastle as well, Sean Quirk. So I think he surely has to have some decent potential in him. How about that guy? In our youth intake, it showed Sean Quirk had a higher potential than Sam Ahmed. And now Sam, Sam Ahmed has a higher potential than Sean Quirk. How about that? Arsenal want him as well. I think he's another one. We, we tie down on a professional deal. Yeah, get his professional con contract sorted. Let's just ask... Yeah, suggest that offer by default. Yeah, I don't mind those wage uh, after league games because that will be far away. 3K, you know, it's nothing special. We dropped to 2.5. We should be able to still make it happen. Whoa. Why is he so hesitant about this? All right, we'll take off yearly wage rise and just give him a little... 4.5. Just, you know... Because that really, in the grand scheme of things, that's not breaking your bank <laughs> for your youth team contracts. So we just make it happen. Because I feel like it was in his mind a lot. I feel like, yeah, he almost looked unsure of signing a new contract or signing a professional deal. Yeah, he could... Whoa, guys! Hold up! Maybe that's a reason Arsenal have showed interest. Could be the next David Seaman. Guys... How about that? We've got to be looking at these. <laughs> Guys, isn't that a prediction? But there we go. We've, we've got... Oh, we've got nice talents. I'm really excited. But let's get into this game. Burnley. Torvan. Rotates. Everton. Ah, oh, Torvan, you're out, mate. Do we put Chong on the bench? Like another right winger? Who else? See, guys, for the next Champions League or the second leg against Liverpool, I want to play Martial here ahead of Neymar for match sharpness. Give him 75 minutes like that's recommended, and plus that's resting, resting Rashford. I wonder, though, guys, next da David Seaman, he'll be lobbed every match. <laughs> it's more of his potential. Pete Watts. Pete Watts to the bench. Or, guys, do we go crazy and start him? Or would that be actually going crazy if we were to start him? Uh, let's... Okay, we've got to make a bit of... Guys, uh, we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Because Luke Shaw's very tired. And we don't... Uh, guys, what do we do? And we got Liverpool in three days. Luke Shaw's very tired. How's Brandon Williams? Oh, Brandon Williams is injured as well. Who do who do we play at left back, guys? Do we? I don't actually. I'm, I'm actually not sure what to do. What what would be your suggestion? Do we play Delo there? Even though he's not the best rated. Nah, Ethan Laird, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's the... He's even injured as well. Fuck, <laughs> Yeah, definitely not. Just... Yeah, we're going to have to put Delo there. So, all right. Now, we'll rest Maguire here. Play... Do we play Mike Small? <laughs> nah, let's play Lindelof where we can. No sense. Okay. Watts. Who do we put him in ahead of? That's it. We'll drop Bruno Fernandes, rest him... Bring in Grealish. So McTominay's there. I reckon we could be fine. Just rest Bruno Fernandes. Let's bring on Pete Watts. There we go. Do we try and start Chonk? Nah. We'll leave this. Nathaniel Klein is back up for right back. <laughs> uh, do we like this? Do we like this setup? We'll start Greenwood. What three? I don't. I don't want to switch the tactic up. Switching up the tactic with three centre backs. What do? What, where's one Basaka then? Where's one Basaka? That nah. Three at the back formation changes us up. Changes us up too much. Uh, let's bring in actually. Take Pogba off for McTominay. Hopefully we can still work this out. And not be too. But put him box to box maybe. Yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with this setup. Maybe rest De Gea, start Dean Henderson. 
Everton as a winger, but I wonder how he would do. It's the same, yeah, suitability. I mentioned that a couple of times. So let's go, guys. Just get to this match. Should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Hoping it to be. <laughs> Chikorito. Oh, there he is. Chikorito. Let's go passionately. Clinch the title. Expecting a win. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Now here's Tonali. Oof. Yeah, I'm hoping we get an early lead. Early lead and then we can bring on Watts. And encourage to play more direct. Now, we'll leave it for, for now. Their body language isn't looking the greatest. Ours, you know, we're not... Okay, we'll see what happens here. It's Barisha. Oh, no. We can see the goal. It's Chikorito. Oh, guys. I knew. I knew. There's always a chance when you drop. When you drop some players. Oh, boy. Didn't I? We actually worked on defending free kicks. I'm pretty sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I tell you what, we gotta turn this around. We're behind. Maybe we might. Oh, Watts, he might not come on now. He might not come on. We need to. What's going on? Burnley again? Come on, man. What are we playing at? Okay, could this end up being a highlight for us in the end? Marcia, do something with it. Tony, Tony must... Oh, come on. Demand more. We're, play, we're playing very reckless at the moment. Maybe our minds are on Liverpool. Wambasaka, Grealish, Tonali, come on. We need something. Wambasaka. Goal! Oh, it's offside. I saw the flag. I saw the flag. Ah, that's tough. I don't know. He's, it was offside, so don't need to see any replays. Oh, wait. One bas who's going to... Oh, hold up, guys. What's the one Basaka situation? I don't want him to be too tired for the next match. But at the same time, we don't want to lose here. Oh, boy, guys. This could hurt. Let's go aggressively. Show me a bit. Of, do we actually make a bit of a... Do we forget about... Not forget about the next game, but we still got to think about winning this. We'll start... At least start the second half and just see... See how we go. Let's see. Juan Bissaka. McTominay. Oh! He was offside anyway. I'm pretty, yeah, I was sure of that. No, I'm not. I'm not sure about going three at the back, man. Like, not sure how that would work, or just that we haven't trialed that this season. Oh, clear it, clear it. How is Burnley playing strong against us? No, how does this happen, man? Our rotation team should still be stronger. Oh, no. This puts the league back up for grabs. I swear these results, they come, like, you know, every couple months. Like, when we've got a good run going. How come you... Ca Lindelof, you fucking shit, man. How do you not win that header? Oh, yeah, Watts is not going to come on. We'll bring on Rashford for Martial, because don't forget, he wasn't fit. Or do we play two strikers? Maybe do we try that? Or oh, guys, do we go the cooler bully up top again, just for the jokes? Nah, Grealish, work this out one way or another. Pressing forward, I, d I I'm just I don't know about three at the back though. Everton, show something, please. Maybe now we do him as a 
inside forward, so he cuts in just for one. Bissaka getting forward, put him on attack. Delo, see, bring on Luke Shaw. Nah, I feel it's that effect. We need our general play. Three at the back, we don't have those wing backs getting forward, which is a big part of our game. It is. Because, yeah, one Bissaka. Important player. He's a big part of our game. So it's Luke Shaw. It has to be. Fullback attack as well. But then, Pogba to come on for McTominay. Because I know McTominay is more defensive. And then he can advance playmaker attack. This should be enough to get forward. Yeah, with players getting forward. All right. Maybe go a bit more wider now. But it's weird a result comes like this every so often. It's crazy. Let's say push forward. Look, we need a goal this highlight. This highlight, come on. Everton, don't waste it. Why is it in the games we're doing poorly, we waste chances? I don't get it, man. Like, when we're cruising 5-0, like, we'll pass that into the box and finish. Uh, how do we lose against Burnley? I guess it's not the strongest team. That has to be... <laughs> what a results. What a results. Can't believe it. Almost another one. But it's that way in FM when you have a lot of games. It's where the way of implement, implementing, you have a lot of competitions you're playing. If you're in Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, all of that. I feel they make you tired or they, they do something to your team for you to drop points, I swear. Yeah, this is going to be it. It's seen as a nothing game. Like, nothing was going to come from this. We never look likely. And that was very strange to see. How they uh, did better than us. Not good enough. Not good enough. Rest in peace with that one. <laughs> Get that emote in. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. Because now it's still... You know, what, well, four points clear with the game in hand. Good position. Good position to be in. Still, it's decent. So we've got to go strong. We've got to make sure our defensive shape is good. And make sure... What's a good stock? Like, aerial defense or ground defense? Aerial defense. <laughs> to stop, like, those uh, like crosses or free kick ball. Everton has got our most assists, actually. How about that? Arsenal got a draw, so they dropped some points there. Can Norwich beat Liverpool? <laughs> uh. No, Liverpool. What? Salah got a goal in the first minute, and that was it. Did they get any injuries? Or Nah, they look... Of course they didn't. <laughs> yeah, this next one. Liverpool is going to be up for grabs. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, I wasn't seriously considering Kieran Gibbs. I just told you the story about that where I signed him back in the day. Ryan Fraser wants to be removed from the transfer list. Why are you letting me know? It's like he was our player. Sure, if he's on the short list. But okay, guys, this is this is the this is the big game. Leeds fall back into the EFL Championship like they 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 were pointless really. Leeds being back in the Prem, yeah, you were always heading back, you're always heading back, guys. So let's see. Let's continue on, though. This is a huge one. Do you guys, what's your early predictions? Yeah, Pogba just hat-tricked versus Wolves. You don't know what's happening. 
What's your guys' predictions? Do we hold on to the 1-0? Yeah, who? what's the final aggregate score, you reckon? You reckon we'll end up being beating them? Liverpool? And can we make it all the way? Do we make it all the way to the final? By beating Liverpool? We've got a lead, so it's okay. We're doing okay. Oli is still the manager. 2022 won two titles. Ah, oh, yeah. See, guys, Ramos. See, we could have never signed him. It wasn't possible. We we went to approach him and he wouldn't listen to. We couldn't even offer him a deal to get that option to. So, nope. Nope. Sorry. If you lose to pull, I'll unfollow. Nah, come on. I know you're not being serious. <laughs> but, nah, I'm not. This is like a motivation to win, but I know you're not serious. I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, come on. Come on. If anything, I think you'll want to continue watching me to see me rage. <laughs> I feel like that's a big reason. Uh, people have always said they like to see me rage. But anyway, come on. Ah, uh, come on, Liverpool. Let's see what you've got. I reckon if we get a goal, we're in a good position. Hannibal, how's he? He's dominating the MLS, right? I know, someone said last time, MLS is not that good. But you think about his quality. What is he? He's currently operating at Premier League level, guys. Prem level. At 18. Does he come in next season and where does he fit in? Do we sell Grealish and we don't really need a replacement? He's that attacking midfielder. Uh, what's that? Marshy, I'm cashing up at work and watching you about to play Liverpool. You must win. It's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hopefully. We've got, we're a good lead. We've got a good lead. As I said, if we score against them, if it becomes that kind of game, there's goals in it. Away, it's away from home, so away goals to us. Liverpool have zero away goals. So I reckon we definitely have an advantage. Oh, Azed, they hire De Jong, Hank, Hank De Jong. I mean, 35% win ratio is nothing special, so good luck to him. All right, FM Voodoo uh, twerks in mysterious ways. Did you say twerks? <laughs> in, in mysterious ways? Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see what we can do. Lalone report. Who's the, who's the top performer? And it is Mesbury. Uh, I mean, do you take Gomez at a 7.18 ahead of that because playing in Premier League? So an, another attacking player we've got. Yeah, Angel Gomez. He's looking pretty good as well. Uh, who else? Levitt. Uh, Chris Roberts, guys. I, I, was, I was almost going to say it, but no. Settle down. I was going to say ripping apart the championship. I'm like, mate, he's got three goals and two assists. From well, he's getting starts. He's getting championship starts. He's a starting player on loan. His p guys, the passing attributes gone up. It, it was 15. I always looked at it. 15. So he's finishing and passing up both 16 right now. Acceleration 17. How about it, guys? What a player is he? What a player. He's going to be a superstar. What logo pack do I use? I use the one from Sorted Out SI, but apparently they don't have Man United in it anymore because there was some copyrights with Man United and Football Manager. I don't know. It's, I don't know the deal, but apparently Man United doesn't have the logos. Yeah, well, it's Sorted Out SI.net. They have a lot of action over on there. <laughs> do I have logos? Oh, I have to search for something else. Yeah, if you go to Sort It Out SI, I'm sure if you go to their graphics department and go to logos, you should be able to come across it. Okay, guys, Neymar, metallic logos. Yeah, yeah, we got metallic logos. These are the metallic ones. Metallic logos. Uh, but anyway, guys, does Rashford? Actually, I'm not sure. 
Grealish, okay, we, we do what we are sure of. Does Neymar start? Guys, we drop Pete Watts out, we have to. And he's probably going to, yeah, be chucked to the under-23s now. Yeah, guys. Jack Grealish may be on the bench ahead of Chong. Guys, the selections. Delow out. Luke Shaw in. Wing back. Wing back defend. What do you think about wing back defend? Because... Hmm. I'll, I'll leave support. I'll leave support. So, Everton, we start. I mean, Tovan's injured, so we kind of have to. Bring Pogba back in. Pogba, he's still got... Well, he's wanted. Kind of way, he doesn't want to listen to a new contract. Uh, Tenali off. And switch those around. Yep. Advanced playmaker support for Pogba. Then McTominay, ball-winning midfielder, defend. So, I like... Martial, Neymar, 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 Neymar. Let's start Neymar ahead of Martial. It's big, but I reckon Neymar's coming into form. There was a time his average rating was below 7. So surely it's been better in recent times. So Rashford, Martial to come on. Guys, do you think Greenwood needs a rest? Do we start Tony Martial or Rashford? See, Rashford doesn't have a great rating as a striker. Martial's rating is a little bit better. See? So I'm leaning towards Tony. Maybe, yeah, Rashford comes on a bit of pace. Late. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, compared to who's not selected, I think we've got the best. The best team guy. Oh, De Gea. We've got to be, we've got to make sure we don't continue before. Yeah, no, nah, this surely has to be it. Martial, Neymar, Fernandez, Everton, Tonali. Oh, not Tonali. Uh, Torvan's injured. Metomine, Pogba. Luke Shaw, uh, Region's injured. Koulibaly, Lindelof, Wambasaka. Yeah, this has to be the strongest team. So, guys, let's go head on into this. Leave the predictions. Leave your predictions. It's the hype time right now. It's hype. This is so important. It's, it's all or nothing. Get the hype up. Just get that emoji in the chat. The emote in the chat of the, the hype. It's hype. It's a big occasion. That's definitely... Oof. Expect to see a much better performance off the last. The last performance was terrible. I suppose it allows me, that performance allows me to get him in a bit. McTominay, instead of Tenali, just a bit of a stronger body in there. Tenali was on the 92% as well. So, yeah. Let's see. Mo Sal Wait, wait, wait. Opposition instructions. Opposition, <laughs> even though there's a highlight... Mo Salah, there's hard tackling on him anyway, so confirmed. They've got a free kick, though. He's early. Early, and they go close, guys. Get the hype. This is big. It's to make the final. It's to make Champions League final here, to make history. Beat Liverpool in the semis. Come on, guys. Who's going to be our hero? Who's going to be the hero? Can you predict that? Or who will be... Who will be the villain? Oh, De Gea. But that was... I mean, it's Lallana. Adam L Adam Lallana's playing? Like, how's he rated? Here we go! It's a penalty! Oh! Is it going to be called? Is it going to be called? <laughs> Oh, it would be funny because I call them Liverpool in the in the title. Ah, oh, Wijnaldum. It's always given, isn't it? Right? It's a pen It's never not given. I feel when they look at the VAR. Now it's Tony Martial. Can he do it? Yes, he does. The English press gave him no chance. Here, the boy, he came from France. Tony Martial scores again. Tony Martial scores again. Hey, He always scores. I love this goal he scored, yeah? Today. Everton. Everton. Oh, almost, almost. Guys, we've got a nice lead. 
Come on. Get the hype. Oh, don't forget praise after we score a goal, yeah? Praise. And hype. Everything. Everything going on right now. Come on. I just hope we don't concede from this. No, because then it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, I just praise. Uh, we'll go through now. Yeah, praise. Come on, lads. We've got this. Golazo. Let's see. We're g see, now we've got a two-goal lead. Guys, we're going to go... We're going to be on balance now. We're, we've got a two-goal lead. And there's a... Oh, there's a highlight instantly. If we get a goal, again, great change. <laughs> it's just a mentality change. But if we make it three, it's going to be very hard for Liverpool. wan Bissaka, come on. I can feel it. I can feel it. Everton, no! Everton always scores against Liverpool. That would have been scenes. That would have been scenes. Grimaldo's on a yellow. Everton, oh, he's sliding around, slipping, sliding around. Oh, De Gea, that went close. Stay focused, lads. Stay, concentrate last five minutes. I know that that always overwhelms them for whatever reason. But I want my players to concentrate. Come on. They might still do it. Luke Shaw. Come on. Pogba. Or oh, who's going to be the hero? If we... <laughs> Pogba. Yeah. Oh, possession. The possession play is nice. Usually it does lead to something good for us. So we go back to De Gea. Yes. Guys, this could be a beautiful goal. Or well, then it's a long... The, l wasted, the long ball wasted it, really. Ah, I'm disappointed with that. Oh, we should have kept possession. Like, see? Mm, I'm frustrated at that. See, guys, our team construction, shorter passing, work a ball into the box, and we play a long ball like that. Ugh. And that's how we lost possession. We lost possession by not playing to my rules. So, did you hear about how Burger King roasted Luke Shaw? Oh, no. Oh, guys, they scored just before half time. What do you reckon now? Do we go back to attacking? Bloody set pieces. Guys, it's not over. See, important to have an away goal to our name. But, yep. Yeah. Assertively, don't get complacent out there. You can't be stressed, McTominay. You're on taking you off. You've got what it takes. Okay, look happy. Good. I was almost going to sub him there. Like, actually, honestly, I didn't want to have any negative reactions. Oh, no, it's another one. Salah. No. De Gea takes. De Gea takes. Neymar. Over the top. Oh, I'm not sure about it. Oh, guys. God, they, they've got something going. We've got an away goal. So that's in our favour. Salah's looking really tired. Well, surely he'll be taken off. Neymar. Oof. Neymar hasn't had a big game. Well, just a good game. Let's bring on Rashford down that side, though. Everton. See, we don't really have another right winger to come on. Live, let, Everton has to play it out, right? Unless we put Greenwood down that side. What do you think? But Everton has that, you know, he, he's done special things. I'm not sure if there's anyone to sub at this point. Let's go. Actually, now go more direct. Now we'll play more direct. Let's go. And there's a highlight once more instantly. Instantly. McTominay. Well, how about a second away goal? Wan-Bissaka. Well, Liverpool don't even have one, so one from us is enough. Oh, Bruno Fernandes, the hero! Bruno. Bruno does it again. Hype. Hype. That's it. That's his 12th of the season. A guy on Twitter was talking about how he wants Liverpool to destroy United and how he wants Salah to send Luke Shaw to Berg... Who said we want him back? Uh, Twitter's all full of banter, isn't it, though? 
Who said we want him back? Yes, guys, that's big. That's big for us. So now I reckon one Basaka to come off because I don't want any injuries. It's that time of season. You never know. You never know. Fullback. Yeah, just support. Maybe Luke Shaw, though, wing back on defend. That's his best role. Well, the low wing... Nah. All right. All right, all right. One more change. Let's... Yeah, Everton now. How about Grealish down that side? Can Fernandez play on... We don't have a natural down the right. Is it that much of a concern? Rashford not even accomplished. Grealish. Maybe just put him a winger support. See how he goes. So you think this lead has to be enough? Or has Salah got more to say about it? No, he doesn't. Oh, don't forget, yes, praise. Praise after we score. We've got to be careful, though. It's Kater. Oh, I can't defend. Oh, my God. Are we a bit lucky in both legs? Could have Liverpool scored maybe a couple more goals? I reckon they could have, really. This is big. It's a two-goal lead for us at the moment, and we've got aggregate. We've got aggregate on us. Oh, no, sorry, we've got away goals on our side. I suppose at this point, aggregate on our side. <laughs> we got the lead. I feel now, do we go back to balance? It depends what happens from this highlight. Uh, oh, the, all the blocking that's going on is amazing. Yes, Rashford. Can he score? Marcus Rashford. Had to score. Had to score. We'll go balance now. Yeah, De Gea saving us. I mean, that's the quality. That's like a good striker scoring. A good goalkeeper making saves. He's just doing his job. It's his like... He's like... It's like his turn to do a match-winning thing. Like when our strikers score. He's doing his job. To the level that he does it. Yeah, press them. That's gone pretty well. That's over the top, though. De Gea should deal with it, does. He gets to that well. And we're going to make sure we get to the final. Grealish, a bit of back heel there. Uh, McTominay as well. We've got a bit of confidence. But can we really finish him? Rashford. Is he going to pass this? It's Bruno Fernandes. What a strike. It unfortunately wasn't a goal. But wow. That was a hit. That was a hit, wasn't it? That was something else. All right. It's a corner. But this late, guys, unless Liverpool score from this, we've got it for sure. They they can't they can't beat us from here. They're not going to be scoring twice. Ooh, if they score, guys. If they score from this. If anything, we might hit them on the counter. They've got no one at the back because they need to go attacking. Just score to make it look an even better scoreline. Sometimes that can happen. Sometimes. Could it be this time? Bruno Fernandes! Jack Grealish! Mbappe would have scored that. Guys, Mbappe in next season. <laughs> With the 200 million we've got in the bank to spend. And don't forget, maybe we'll sell a couple players. We'll have a bit more to play with. There we go. Yeah, the question is, who do we spend that big money? Is it majority on Mbappe? Or do we go a bit more strategic about it and make a few more deals instead of just one on one player? How did Grealish miss? Is he out? Is it is it Grealish out? He's been okay, but is he not that high, high level? But, whew, amazing. You all dreamt of playing in the final. Guys, we made it to the final. It's hype. It's hype. I hit the three in the uh, the, emo the emotes of those. Yeah, there we go. Three of them. Because it's hype. Come on. We've made it. We've made it to the final. Bruno Fernandes, another really good game, didn't he have? We get the money. See, that's where it's that time of the season. We'll be getting a bit extra, cutting into our losses for the season. 
You've got... Uh, how did you... Yeah, how did you sign Mbappe? What what season did you sign him? And how much did you sign him for? Let me know. It could give, give me an idea. Bruno Fernandes, excellence. He's on form again. What a player is he, yeah? He's suddenly becoming loved in real life as well for United fans doing amazing stuff. And apparently Barcelona... For Pogba, honestly, if you want to leave a winning team, go. <laughs> He's a big part to a success. Third season, 168 million. So that's where I'm just going into. So very similar. Very similar position. So I'll keep that in mind. We have we have that budget there to sign him. So could look very possible. It really, yeah, it really could look possible, guys. So I'm just going to continue a few days. Make sure we have our training applied for our next game. Just go, yeah, match preparation against Norwich. Pretty straightforward. I wondered, we'll see the other game. Champions League. When's this one? Be? This is being, this is, play oh, guys, get your predictions in. When does Mbappé... When does his contract expire, though? Or did he sign a new one? Nah. He must have signed a new contract. It, it could expire, like, from the start in the third season. But, yeah, 2024, it's, it's, he's got until now. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how we go about it. Right now, it, it, 160 to 225... We'll have the money. It's, it just depends all if we wanna if we wanna spend the majority of the budget on him. That's just it, guys. And what you'll think about that takeover rumors not to be believed. <laughs> believe we've said that or we've seen it a few times in this save where they've said that nothing's happened. So, guys, Barcelona, Juventus. Has any side got big injuries that could impact if we play against them? Wait, who's that Xavier? So, it doesn't look like Barcelona do. Yeah, who's that Xavier? Guys! Oh, he doesn't look that great. Could he be the next Xavi? How about that? Imagine doing a Barcelona save and you get someone, someone named like that. And as a central midfielder. And he's, he's seen as their hot prospect. But how do you get, how do you get that from Ruben Ruben Reyes? <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, they've got Dembele. Dembele is Barca's only injury, and Juve. It'll be massive. We come up against Ronaldo, and they've got Simone Rivera. See, he looks almost better of his current ability. But who's their injuries? Have they got injuries? They got Matuidi. Uh, the couple, you know, Chesney. Chiellini's not 100%. He's still going strong. How about that? I think Barcelona will be too strong, though. That's my early prediction. And yes, uh, Ronaldo scored. Oh, guys, how about that? That would have... Juve would have took the lead early, but they just couldn't hold on. Barcelona, absolutely too strong. But they would have had the lead through a Ronaldo goal. So, yeah, we've got... <laughs> Guys, look at the difference in those finals. The FA Cup, we've got Derby County. FA Cup, we got Derby. And Barcelona in the Champions League final. And then, to fi guys, to finish off the Premier League, like, sure, we lost against Burnley, disappointing. But we've got Norwich, Wolves, and Birmingham. So we shouldn't drop it. We're four points clear of Arsenal with a game in hand to them. Surely we have the league. So, guys, yeah, we're going to end it there. So, we have, I think that's a good amount of games for the next stream to finish off the season, to balance it well. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we, uh, we balance that stuff well today. So, yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's stream, but it is coming at, coming to an end now and a big, and a big next stream. So, make sure you look out for that. See you guys in the next 